I just hope he's successful. You know, as a friend of mine, I hope he wins the league. I mean, I don't know whether it'll be a bit too soon for him. I don't know whether he fancies the Liverpool job as of yet, 18 months into his career. I don't know. Um, I, I certainly wouldn't ask him that. I'd leave it to him. But it'd be a wonderful choice, wouldn't he? Of course he, of course he would be. Obviously, you were breaking through into the first team when Kenny Dalglish quit all those years ago. How's that shock factor compared to Jürgen now? Well, it's probably on a bit of a par, really. I, th- I don't think, I think even the most ardent Liverpool fan would not expect Liber- uh, Jürgen to be at Liverpool in five years. I think we all knew he was going to, he was going to leave, you know, whenever it was. Of course, whenever he announced it, it was always going to be a bit of a shock. You know, the Kenny thing was completely different because it was sort of, one day he was there and the next day he was, you know, that was it. He was, he, he was going to leave. So that was a huge shock. Um, but, you know, it, it's, it's, it's just part and parcel of, of life really, isn't it? You know, Pep Guardiola is going to move on sooner or later. He's not going to be there in 10 years time. And that'll be a shock when he announces it. And I think that, you know, when, when these managers announce things like that, the fact that they leave at the highest level, that's all that we're, we're really shocked about. You know, if he was languishing 17th in the league and people were shouting at him, that wouldn't be a shock if he was to leave. But the fact is, he's leaving at the very highest level. But he's leaving at the club. You know, he's leaving the club in a wonderful position, um, financially very healthy, new stadium up and running. You know, getting into hopefully getting into the Champions League. I mean, we should be in the Champions League next year, and that will bring more finances, particularly with the new, you know, the new model of the Champions League next year. So he's leaving the club in a wonderful. Uh, wonderful position, extremely healthy. Um, you know, the new manager just has to carry on and it's going to be hard, you know, going after Jürgen, of course, as you, you know, you work for the local paper, you know, his impact around the city, uh, not just on a football level, but on a personal level and how he resonates with the people. That's going to be the hard part. I think, the, you know, of course, the football part will take care of itself, but, you know, they're, they're losing more than just a football manager, aren't they, when they lose the Jürgen? What do you think about uh, potential successors, Xavi Alonso, maybe? Oh, I mean, Xavi's doing great, isn't he? You know, I know Xavi very well. Um, I'm a bit biased towards him, but, you know, he's 10 points clear. They've never won the league at Leverkusen. You know, I felt a bit sorry for him, the fact that as soon as Jürgen said that he was leaving, every all the English turned up at his press conference and the pressure's on him, but he's dealt with it really well. You know, he's favoured to win the German Cup now as well. So I just hope he's successful. You know, as a friend of mine, I hope he wins the league. I mean, I don't know whether it'll be a bit too soon for him. I don't know whether he fancies the Liverpool job as of yet, 18 months into his career. I don't know. Um, I, I certainly wouldn't ask him that. I'd leave it to him. But it'd be a wonderful choice, wouldn't he? Of course he, of course he would be with the um, the standing he's got at Liverpool. He knows Liverpool, the city. You know, he, he worked here. He lived here, more importantly. And, um, you know, he's doing an incredible job at the minute, undefeated. Uh, I mean, what can you what can you say? But you know, they'll do the due diligence. You know, people have spoken about Nagelsmann. People have people have spoken about Amor Tim at, at, at Sporting. People have spoken about t- uh, managers in um, in Lille. But um, of course, Shabby's the standout character because he knows Liverpool so well. And and I think knowing the city really really helps you, you know, win the people over. And it's not just a new manager they need. There's a sporting director and everything oh. behind the scenes as well. Um, what did you make of Michael Edwards, the FSG, trying to have a, a second go at bringing him back to the club? Do you reckon that could happen? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, they should they they should try and bring um, Michael back. Of course they should. And funny enough, I spoke to him the other day about it as well because he lives by me and I see him regularly. Um, again, I don't know. I don't know in what capacity they would want to bring him back. I don't know. You know, I think Michael's moved on than, than just being a sporting director. Um, I mean, I don't, I, I don't know that that per- he hasn't said that to me, but I think his, you know, he couldn't go back just to the same role he's been doing, you know, for for a long time. I think he'd need more. Uh, I don't know whether he needs a new challenge. He, you know, in past um, comments he's made, it's always the case that he needs a new challenge. The same with Julian Ward as well. I know Jules very well. You know, it'd be great if they could come back and recreate what they've done of course it is but I don't know the the machinations of what's going on behind the scenes and you know if they have spoken to them if they've offered them things if they've offered them various things I don't entirely know um but of course you know Michael and Jules have done a, an incredible job when they were at Liverpool and um you know uh, the, again they're friends of mine so I wouldn't say anything bad about them 